Hey, welcome back to Cody Builds. On this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Modern Driveline's TKX 5-speed conversion kit for a 1973 to 1979 Ford pickup truck. Now specifically, I bought a package for my Ford FE block engine. I'm gonna take you through all of the options that I purchased for my kit and some of the options that are available to you. Now we're not gonna get to the installation of the transmission this week, but I did wanna shoot this video going through all the various components so that you know exactly what you're getting when you buy a conversion kit from Modern Driveline. Okay, here's all the parts that came in this conversion kit laid out. The transmission, an SFI approved bell housing, pressure plate, clutch, flywheel, and all the various hardware, which we're going to go through. Now, the one thing I will note is that this really is an a la carte system, and the guys at Modern Driveline are super helpful in helping you decide what exactly you do need and what you do not need in your package. Now, I went with the full boat package here. I went with most of the options that you can upgrade in this package, including the bell housing. Now, the reason for that is down the line, maybe not with this engine here, but when we get our 445 stroker motor into this truck, we are potentially gonna be doing some drag and drive events. We're gonna be pushing somewhere around 500 to 550 horsepower through that engine block. And just for peace of mind, uh, and the sake of any potential drag racing we're gonna be doing, I went with the SFI approved bell housing. That is future proofing for me and it's not necessarily something that you need. It just depends on how you're gonna use your truck and what the application's gonna be. The great thing about Modern Driveline is they are super helpful. I called them up, I went through the parts list with their salespeople, and additionally, I saw these guys back at the PRI show back in December. They were super, super helpful. They talked me through all the available options that they had at that time, and then when I called them up, they did it all over again. We went through the full build package. They wanted to know lots of information to make sure that I was getting the right parts and components. I will say, I am not being sponsored by Modern Driveline. I'm just sharing with you guys a good experience that I've had with them so far. Just know I'm not getting anything out of this video. Uh, I did purchase full price, all of these parts, and it was not exactly cheap. So, uh, okay, that said, let's dig into the parts and I'll tell you some of the things I noticed right off the bat and some things that might be good to know right up front about this package. Now let's start with the star of the show here, the Tremec TKX 5-speed. Now there are three different overdrive options for this transmission. There is a 0.68 geared overdrive, a 0.72, and a 0.81 geared overdrive. Now it's really important that you consider a few other things before you determine which overdrive transmission you want. You're gonna wanna know what size rear tire you're running or what size drive tire you're running. You're gonna wanna know what your gear ratio is gonna be. And then you also wanna know what the intended function of the vehicle is gonna be. Now I know for my truck, I am eventually gonna be doing some track style racing, whether that's autocross or drag racing. So I went with a fairly aggressive rear gear in my truck. I believe it's a 379 gear. So I needed to set offset that really steep gear ratio with the 0.68 overdrive in this transmission. What that's gonna do is it's gonna help bring down the RPMs when I'm at cruising speeds up around 65, 70, 75 miles an hour. Now, if your intention is to cruise the vehicle, you're probably gonna have a different gear ratio in your vehicle. So consider the gear ratio, your tire size, and your cruising speed that you're most likely gonna be running your vehicle at before you make any decisions on the overdrive size. This is also something that if you're not comfortable picking out on your own, Modern Driveline can help you out. They'll have a discussion with you. They're gonna ask you all those questions. What's your tire size? What's your gear ratio? How are you gonna use this vehicle? And they'll help you make that decision if you're not sure what to do. In addition to that, there are online calculators that'll help you determine what your cruising RPM is at a given mile per hour with that information of tire size and uh, ring and pinion gear ratio. So if you have that information, you can start doing the research and you can figure out exactly what overdrive you want in your transmission. Now, the other thing that's cool about this Tremec TKX 5-speed is its versatility. This transmission right now is set up for a truck style application and you'll see the mid mount shifter position here. This is an add on for this transmission. If you're doing a conversion for a pickup truck, you have to add on this little uh, adapter here for the mid mount style shift. But the nice part is if you're ever going to use this transmission in another vehicle, rather than having to worry about if this shifter position works in a different vehicle, say like a muscle car style where you're gonna want the shifter a little bit further back in the tunnel, 
uh, you can buy the adapter that will then move this shifter back onto the tail housing and block off this center section here. That's a really cool feature. It makes this transmission super versatile. So if you're a guy that likes doing engine swaps, you go through a lot of different types of vehicles, you're moving drive lines from one place to another, this TKX 5-speed could be a really good option for you. And the last thing I'll note about this transmission is the overall package size. It's a pretty compact transmission. You guys can see scale-wise, you know, my hand size compared to this transmission here. It's a fairly compact transmission and it's fairly light. Uh, it's a ton lighter than the cast iron four speed that came out of this pickup truck. So there's going to be a huge, huge weight savings just in the transmission alone. Those are all really nice features, especially if you're trying to shed weight in race application or something like that. So I'm really excited to get this transmission installed on my engine. Now I decided to splurge for the QuickTime SFI approved bell housing. Now, if you have a manual transmission that you are swapping already, so let's say you have a four speed in the truck already, it's not necessary to purchase a bell housing. Now, as I previously said, I do intend to track this vehicle and I wanted the peace of mind of knowing that I had this protective equipment in place. I just went ahead and started with the QuickTime bell housing, even though the first engine that I put into my truck is really not gonna see that much race abuse. That'll only be further down the line when we install a big motor. So I did go with the QuickTime bell housing here. Now this does come with the motor plate as well as all of the hardware you need to install this bell housing onto the block and the transmission onto the bell housing. It does come with instructions on how to align this bell housing onto the block. There's a chance you could need some offset dowels, but uh, that's not something I'm gonna cover today. That'll be in next week's video when I start installing this transmission onto my engine. Now this feels like the time to tell you that uh, as happy as I've been with everything that I've purchased from Modern Driveline so far, I have not seen a step-by-step -step instruction for this entire kit. And I don't necessarily need that, but for you guys out there, if you're looking for maybe a step-by-step -step instruction on what to do and how to install these parts, I haven't seen it with my Modern Driveline kit. Now I'll also say I just unboxed everything tonight. So, and I didn't ask those guys if they had one, honestly. I'm not that concerned about it. Each component that comes with this kit comes with its own installation instructions. So I'm also gonna walk you guys through the process. So if you're watching this video, come back next week and I will go through step-by-step -step how to install this transmission onto the back of a Ford FE motor. It's not gonna be all that different from motor to motor. The only differences are gonna be in the bell housing really and the, and the style of throw out bearing that you decide to use. So keep that in mind when we're going through this. There is not, as far as I've seen yet, a step-by-step -step instruction for a modern driveline. Now, I haven't reached out to them, so I will say that. And I'm also not necessarily looking for step-by-step -step instructions. I just thought that might be useful information for you guys to have at home. Next up here is the flywheel. This is a modern driveline manufactured product. It is made in the USA. It is a billet flywheel specifically for a Ford FE engine. Now they have two different options for the Ford FE. They've got the, the 390 427 style flywheel and they've got the 428 style flywheel. Why is that important to know? So the rotating assembly on the 428 engine is externally balanced, which means that the flywheel needs to be balanced in conjunction with the rotating assembly. And you'll see balancing drill marks and counterweights potentially on that 428 flywheel. You don't see that here on this 390 flywheel, and that's because the rotating assembly on a 390 or a 427 or a 360 is internally balanced. So there's no need to have any counterweights or drilling done on the flywheel itself. That said, the billet flywheel is a really nice addition to go along with the SFI approved bell housing. Uh, and this is just a really nice piece. I'm really happy with this. Uh, made by Modern Drive Lines. The part number for this specific flywheel is MD-LBS390-00. Now I also picked up the ARP flywheel bolt kit that goes along with this flywheel. There are a few different options for the bolt kits. You can go with the standard style bolts. Uh, they're a little bit cheaper than the ARP assembly, but I figured if I'm gonna do this once, I should do it right, and I just upgraded to the ARP style bolts. Now the nice thing about this ARP kit is it does come with ARP's fastener assembly lubricant as well, so that is a nice little touch there. Next up here, we've got the clutch setup, which includes the clutch disc, the pressure plate, a pilot bushing and an installation tool, as well as our ARP pressure plate bolts. 
These are again an upgrade. Modern Driveline has multiple different clutch disc materials that are available to you. If you're not sure what you need, the best option is to reach out to them again and have that discussion. They're gonna to wanna to know what is the anticipated horsepower of the engine that you're putting into your vehicle. And now this is a good time to be honest with yourself and honest with them and give them a real number because what they're trying to ensure is that they're not providing you with a clutch that is gonna be underpowered and might slip because your engine has more horsepower than what the clutch can handle. So realistically, the more horsepower you throw that at this thing, the heavier springs you're gonna need in your pressure plate in order to keep the clutch from slipping. And that's gonna give you a heavier pedal feel. So all those things need to be considered when you're trying to decide what clutch is gonna go into the transmission. Again, if you're confused by any of this, the guys at Modern Driveline were super helpful. They're a really good resource. They helped me pick out these Kevlar steel faced clutch pack as well as this pressure plate setup. With my kit, I opted to switch from a manual throwout bearing to a hydraulic throwout bearing. And the one thing that you're definitely gonna need in order to make that conversion is a clutch master cylinder. The Modern Driveline kit comes with this nice Willwood clutch master cylinder as well as a remote reservoir and the bracketry that you need to mount this into your vehicle. Now, the one thing that I need to clarify is that this bracket is, is designed for bump side Fords. So the generation before the 73 to 79 dent side Fords, it can easily be modified. And Modern Drivelines was very clear about this up front is they do not yet have this bracket designed for 73 to 79 Ford pickup trucks. It is a very, very simple modification. They provided me with instructions on how to do that modification, and they were upfront about it before I bought the kit. So I knew that going in. I wasn't overly worried about it anyways, uh, because the fab for this setup is pretty straightforward and simple. Um, so just keep that in mind. I do believe they eventually will have this bracket specifically for the 73 to 79 Ford pickup trucks, but it is not yet available in the conversion kit as of May of 2025. So keep that in mind. Remote reservoir here, all the hardware to hook up our clutch master cylinder to our clutch pedal. And it also comes with a bleeder kit here to help you bleed the master cylinder. So this is all pretty straightforward stuff. We'll go over the modifications needed for this when we install the clutch pedal system into the cab of the truck. Now, in addition to the clutch master cylinder, I opted for the hydraulic throwout bearing, as I said, and it comes with this Tilton 6000 series hydraulic bearing. It looks like a nice piece. It comes with all the hardware you need to install it. In addition to the bearing, you do have to purchase, specifically for this application, a uh, extended length hydraulic hose for the throwout bearing. Modern Drivelines has a number of different transmission yoke options depending on your U-joint size. I opted for a billet yoke with 1350 U-joints. We do have to upgrade the rear end to 1350 U-joints, but that's okay. It's got 1330s in it now. I'm just gonna change out the yoke in the, in the rear differential for a 1350. We wanna go with the larger size U-joints here with the amount of power we're eventually gonna be putting to the ground with this truck. There's different options available to you at different price points for these yokes, um, which is kind of nice. You're not locked into buying a very expensive piece that you don't necessarily need. So there are cheaper options available to you if that's what you desire. All, separately, it also comes with a transmission mount that will be specific to your application. This looks like a pretty generic style transmission mount. We are gonna have to change the cross member up in order to make this mount work, I believe but we're gonna find out more about that in the coming episodes. All right, now lastly are all the little accessories that go along with the transmission here. So we've got a shift lever, a shift ball, and there are multiple options for both of these. Uh, you can get them in black, white, custom style shift, shift knobs. Uh, same with the shift lever, there's different configurations. Uh, different angles of lever, different lengths of lever. So it really depends on your application and what you're purchasing and what you want the look of your vehicle to be like. There's also a number of different shift boots here. That's what this is. This is uh, just is kind of the st standard style uh, boot that I went with here, but they have different trim ring options, all kinds of different things available to you that you can really customize the look you want for your vehicle. And then we've got a backup taillight harness here for the manual transmission. We've got the appropriate speedometer gear, 
as well as a speedometer sensor that goes with the transmission. And lastly, the transmission is shipped is the transmission is shipped dry with no oil in it. So you have the option to purchase the oil from Modern Drive Lines or use your own. I just opted to purchase directly from them. Use the oil that they recommend in the transmission. Just don't forget to put it in after you install the transmission. So there you have it guys. That's everything that comes with a Modern Drive Lines TKX 5-speed conversion kit. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the setup is a la carte. So there are things that you do not have to purchase with the package like the bell housing if you are going from manual to manual and you already have a bell housing that you're happy and satisfied with that's going to save you a ton of money right there if you're going from automatic to manual yeah okay now you're going to have to purchase a bell housing unless you already have one available any of these components can be added or removed from the kit but these are really the essential components that you're going to need if you're going from say an automatic to a manual conversion. So there are ways to save money with this package. You don't necessarily need to buy everything that I showed you here, but it is all available from in a one-stop shop package from Modern Driveline. Now, come back next week because we're gonna be installing this transmission onto this engine right here. We are going to true up the bell housing onto the block. We'll be installing the flywheel, the clutch disc, the hydraulic bearing, the pressure plate, and then eventually the transmission all onto the FE engine sitting right here. We're doing that in preparation to be able to put this in the chassis. That is the next major step for this truck. We need to get un the underside of the chassis all done. We need to get the driveline figured out, get the driveline angle set up. All that stuff is gonna be coming in future episodes. So stick around if you have any interest in seeing that stuff. And as always guys, remember, if you don't work on your project, it will not work on itself. Get out in the garage, get building, and I'll see you on the next episode of Cody Builds.